sucked. Um, game of the week, though, which is a game I, I was very excited to watch because this this is the two juggernaut teams, uh, probably the the two most complete teams on both sides of the football. L.A. Rams, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let me put some respect on their name. Um, this this is this is another one. You know, guys in the media carrying jock straps again. Uh, you know, and and it's and it 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 hurts me because Eric, you know, Tom Brady has been my guy for a long time. To, but it gets to a point where it's like, listen, it's not God wearing number twelve in in Tampa right now. It's yeah, it's it's the I think you and I both agree it's the overly biased. Yes. Analysis and assessment. Like there are people who are watching the game and treating it as if Tom Brady not only threw for three touchdowns, but also had 12 tackles and three interceptions. Yes. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, getting, it's getting ridiculous with the biased coverage of, of Tampa Bay. Yes. And it's like, damn, like this is my guy. And I'm finding it hard to, to root for my, like, I actually, I, I, I told, I told this to my pops yesterday. I said, I'm, I'm going for the Rams in this game. Just because I don't want to hear the, the 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 Tom Brady jockstrap carriers on, on on Monday morning, you know, going crazy, you know, like like it it, it it just it just bugs me out. Um, ultimately though, the the Rams did get the victory. There's a huge difference, you know, and I posted this on Facebook. It's different when you play a real defense. Okay, we spoke about Dallas earlier, who they played in Week One offensively. Dallas is probably top five in this league. Defensively, middle of the pack at best. Same thing. Uh, I mean, Falcons overall just bottom of the barrel. Falcons, Falcons, Falcons might be the worst defense in all of football. Yeah, you know, bottom of the <laughs> defense. I mean, they they were going into going into yesterday's game. They were giving up thirty five a night. Yeah, so <laughs> you you should be able to put up numbers on on those guys. You should be able to blow those guys out the water. Now. When you got to go up against the best defensive player in football, you know, you, you could even argue the best player in football and Aaron Donald, the best cornerback in football and Jalen Ramsey, who we, who we mentioned earlier uh, in, in the program, and a great top five, top three, maybe even top number one defense in football, it's different. As 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 our main man from across the bridge, Mike Larry was saying, get different when they on, and we saw the Tampa Bay Buccaneers look regular in that in that game. Tom Brady, although he threw for he finished the game, I think like four hundred fifty three yards, but a lot of those yards were we're down by fourteen, we're down by seventeen. Let's, yeah, let's. I mean, they they were down seventeen pretty much from the late third quarter on. So yeah, Tampa had no choice but the pass to try to get in it. Um, the numbers were inflated, which again, the bias coverage because I hated the fact that they flashed the stat up. This is the first time that he's thrown for four hundred yards and lost. They were down seventeen points pretty much for the last twenty minutes of that game. Yeah. So he had no choice but to try to air it out to get back in the game. And then he um, had the and, and, and lost to the Eagles in the Super Bowl. Well, the irony, and I'm glad you said it. I was going to bring it up. They they only wanted to mention regular season games. Oh, okay. They didn't want to mention. And again, this is not to criticize. He is the greatest quarterback to play the game. There is no denying that. Yeah. But again, let's call it what it is. There are times that he does struggle. There are times that he may not come through. I wasn't surprised they lost to the Rams yesterday because, as you mentioned, this is the best defense in football, and that's no knock to any other team. When you look at last going off last season, they gave up the fewest points in all of football. Yeah. So far this season, they're on pace to do it again. Aaron Donald, double team, triple team. If you want, use your whole five offensive linemen on him. It ain't gonna matter. <laughs> He's gonna find a way to wreck your game plan at some point. And when he doesn't get to you, guess where you're not throwing? You're not throwing to the side that Jalen Ramsey's on. So you're basically working with half the field to try to stay away from the best cornerback in football as well. The Rams are a complete team. Um, I wasn't too surprised by the outcome because we saw this last year when the Rams played this Buccaneer team. They were more physical. They were more imposing. The difference was they didn't have a quarterback who could air it out with Tampa Bay. Now they have a quarterback who can air it out with Tampa Bay. And it was a lot of open receivers running around in that Tampa Bay secondary. You and I talked about it. You you even uh, tweeted about it open tonight. 
Tampa Bay is going to have to tighten up that secondary if they think they're going to go back to a Super Bowl. Because guess what? Dak lit them up. Matt Ryan lit them up. Yeah. And then we just saw Matthew Stafford light you up. Yep. So is Tampa Bay still the best team in their division? Absolutely. Is Tampa Bay one of the top three teams in the NFC? Without a doubt. But there's a team in the West Coast that just showed you they just as talented as you. They're just as good as you. And now they got the tiebreaker where if y'all meet in the playoffs, you're going to have to go to their house. They ain't got to worry about going to Tampa. Exactly. And, 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 and that was, you know, again, Tom Brady is the GOAT. Nobody's going to take that away from Tom Brady. And it'll be a long time before we even talk about anybody in that conversation, just because it'll be a long time before someone has that length of a career who can compete with Tom Brady. Cause anybody who's been in the league close to what he's been in the league, they're far away from Tom Brady. So it, it would be a long time before we actually even talk about anybody else in the goat category other than Tom Brady. What I have a problem with is the, the storyline that says Tom Brady is still the best quarterback in football. He is not that. Listen, 40, 44, how's the time right now? 43, 44, how's the time? 43. 43. If I say you're, the, you're, you're a top five quarterback at 43 years old, that is amazing. The, you, you couldn't ask for anything more, but he's not the, he's not the best quarterback in football. And for, for, for you know, everybody that, that loves to, to run with, oh, he's still the best because he's the GOAT. No, you're wrong. If Tom Brady was the best quarterback in football, put him back on the Patriots and, and, and see what we, we wouldn't even be. We, I don't, we might not even be saying he's a top five quarterback. Well, we, we know, right. We, we know the answer to that because when he decided to walk away from the Patriots, there were plenty of people on that side of the debate that said, well, he looked bad his last year here. So I can understand why they, they didn't want him back. You had other people who said, hey, he's still Tom Brady. You don't just let him walk. But now there's this contingency of people who are like, why would you ever let him leave? Because you guys obviously weren't paying attention to his last year in New England. He yeah. struggled there. And it, it wasn't all his fault. But guess what? In a playoff game against Tennessee that year, we saw it in his last game with them. His last pass was a pick six. The offense he was leading didn't score in the second half of that game. They were a team that had the number one defense and was held by that defense all year. For, and he couldn't get the offense going. Now, granted, Tampa, his weapons are much better. They loaded up. They already had Mike Evans. They had Godwin. Then he went and got Antonio Brown, Leonard Finette, Rob Gronkowski. They loaded up. But yesterday, another great example, no Antonio Brown, and Grant got hurt. So now your weapons were limited. And as you mentioned, you were down most of that game. You didn't look as good because you didn't have your best slot receiver and you didn't have your safety net at tight end. Listen, so you still got two all pro wide receivers on the field. No, and, no, right. I came back. Not to say you, but in general, because people, you know, because oh, Antonio Brown didn't play. Mm -hmm. You still got two all pro wide receivers. How much more do you need to give, give my man Lamar Jackson one of them guys? And I'll be. That, that's my point. I don't think. I think that the the praise of Tom, people forget that there's this abundance of weapons there. Like he has more weapons than Patrick Mahomes does, and and we and 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 we love to talk about how much Mahomes has the best tight end and, and one of the top five receivers, right? But outside of that, from those two guys that Patrick Mahomes has, it's a big drop off from everybody else. Ain't nobody game planning for McCole Hardman. Ain't nobody game planning for Pringle and Cly Clyde Edwards. They're not you know, game planning. You mean the guy that, that, that fumbled the, the ball against the Ravens that cost them the game? That guy? Ain't nobody, yes. yeah. Ain't nobody game planning for them. But when you look at Tampa Bay, you got to make a concerted effort. Like, do we want to take Godwin away? How, what are we going to do with Gronk? Who's handling Mike Evans? Wait a minute. Antonio's in the slot again. And then, and oh, by the way, oh, by the way, we got this big battering ram of running back who we could hand the ball to, or he could catch out the backfield. So, again, every quarterback should have weapons, but look at Tom's last year with, with New England. Look at his time with Tampa. He's somewhere in the middle of that. Yeah. He ain't as great as y'all think. Not anymore. He's still the greatest quarterback, but he's somewhere in the middle between those two those two teams. Yeah, absolutely. You are, you're absolutely right. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real 
Ajoutons.